if you disagree with me go in the comment section or in the description and uh, there should probably be a link to my discord and we can uh, argue there we don't need to debate we just talk right there are like five people but uh, we are pretty active i would say so just go join and if you like uh, to know how strong are cartoon or anime characters or even live action just uh, like subscribe and uh, comment down below what video you want to see next and maybe i will do it now let's get into the video what's up Today I will debunk the video made by Just the Robot regarding Al Qaeda's favorite anime character versus Annabelle. Because I think he didn't do a great job on well anything basically. He doesn't really know power scaling from what I've seen or the lore of the show from what I've seen. So um, yeah, I just want to debunk his arguments or not really debug his arguments but more to give arguments why Sasori would beat Deidara and why Suikage was justified to put Deidara below Sasori in his ranking of the Akatsuki because basically just robots video is about the ranking of Akatsuki of Suikage. So one of the main arguments of just a robot for Deidara being stronger than Sasori is that Sasori died while fighting an old lady and Sakura. But first of all, Sakura it's Johnny level at this point, just saying. And that old lady, as you call her, it's the same one that was fighting Hanzo of the Salamander. And this is the dude who bodied literally the uh, Sanin in the wars. And he was the one to give them the titles of the Sanin. So saying that Lady Chio is Sanin level at best, I don't know about that. Because she might as well be above them. Or at least in the same tier with them. And I'm sorry to disappoint you, Just a Robot. But Deidara doesn't hang around with people like Orochimaru or Jiraiya in no circumstances. He would get body really quick. So don't even try to say something like Deidara can fucking hold the handle to Orochimaru or to Sun in level characters. Another thing would be that he let himself get killed. Even Chio said it, he died because he wanted to. I don't know why he wanted to die, maybe because he was a puppet and he realized that being a puppet isn't as good as he would have imagined, or he just didn't want to kill his grandmother, I, I have no idea, but he fucking died because he wanted to die. Another argument would be the third Kazekage. The third Kazekage was stated to be the strongest Kazekage while Gara was the Kazekage, meaning that Gara, who fought Teidara, is still weaker than the third. And may I remind you that Gara would have clapped Teidara if it wasn't for the village, because Gara used most of his chakra to keep the village from exploding. If Teidara would fight Sasori, so sorry, he wouldn't give a crap and he would just use the puppet. Should I also mention how Sasori has lightning release and every chakra nature, I think? I think he has every chakra nature. He has most chakra natures. And he can use them to attack Deidara at long distances or just neutralize his uh, bombs. Should I also say that he has many kinds of poisons and many ways of, uh, you know, poisoning Tidara. May I mention that he has 100 puppets? Or should I just stop? Because uh, it's embarrassing at this point. But one of the main things that you can claim for Sasori 
and um, this is uh, actually a pretty pretty weird stuff uh, it's pretty weird stuff I'm gonna admit but the third Kazekage was called the strongest shinobi while he was alive and that means that the third would be actually on par with people like Hiruzen, Onoki, and the third Raikage in terms of strength. Now, I know it's shaky, but based on lore alone, that argument can be made. And you can argue that the third Kazekage alone would body Deida. And as final argument, I would say that... C4 wouldn't work on Sasori because he doesn't have cells and uh, those bombs are literally made for cells, you know, to attack a cellular level, at a cellular level, so uh, wouldn't really affect uh, Sasori that much, especially if he starts in his Hiruko shell because he would just blow up the shell and then he would... Uh, well, he would just remain with the body that he has. Another thing would be that Deidara himself said that Sasori is stronger, even though Deidara never saw Sasori without his shell. And he calls him master, meaning that he doesn't call him master or stronger because he saw him in, you know, at full power, but because he saw him with the shell on which is actually way more interesting because it puts into perspective how strong he is without uh, using his real uh, body and uh, to close this thing even if they that I would kill himself right that bomb didn't even destroyed Manda and Manda is just a summoning the Kazekage Every Kazekage at the ba daily basis fight Shukaku. They can fight Bijou with no problem. And the third Kazekage especially is the strongest out of them. So given the fact that the third probably can body Shukaku and can tank Bijou Damas and can, well, survive with his sand, I'm pretty sure a blast that Manda wasn't completely destroyed by wouldn't be enough to you know destroy the sand of the third Kazekage and actually even if it destroys it it doesn't really matter the third Kazekage can just cover Sasori in this uh, layer of iron sand and even if the sand gets obliterated at the end, Sasori would still remain alive inside it. And, uh, well, the Dara would kill himself, so that would be it. Yeah, and um, the conclusion is the video is bad. Sasori beats the crap out of the Dara, and um, just the robot doesn't understand the lore or the power scaling of Naruto. Thank you for watching the show. The show what the hell thank you for watching the video and uh subscribe and like and uh, all that stuff and i'm gonna see you in the next video obviously